Hello guys, welcome to Knowledge India once again. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk to you about the new service from Amazon, which is Light Sale. Now, this is a really fantastic service because of so many reasons. And in this tutorial, my intention is to help you understand that how this can actually help you to host your websites quickly, right? With with uh, with really simple steps, and how can you go ahead and save money as well? So as you can see i am there on the on the micro website of amazon light sale it off it says straight away no nonsense pricing right so very simple pricing model so customers always had uh, this type of you know uh, these complaints that amazon is keeping very complex pricing when you go ahead and stand up a server in order to host your website there are so many aspects which you need to understand in order to get or understand the price or in order to know your pricing properly now that's why amazon went ahead and uh, made uh, made it really simple for the customers and it was launched in the reinvent 2016. now light sale is a service which gives you an instance and uh, along with uh, static ip address along with storage area there are different prices as you can see on the screen the lowest one starting from five dollars per month yeah you that's that's really cheap and as you can see as you go ahead and or based on your uh, need you can go ahead and have as big as uh, you know 8 gb ram and uh, 80 gb uh, local storage in order to keep your files right on that particular machine now <coughs> uh, some of the good things quickly to understand with the uh, light sale now when you go ahead and take uh, you know a, a one of the instances on light sale you get along with that a static ip address as well free of cost you get to manage three dns uh, dns zones right so if if you own a, if you own a domain name let's say example.com you can point that domain to uh, you know to this particular instance and uh, your website can start working also you have other things like server monitoring you can go ahead and see how you use your server performing same like cloudwatch you have monitoring facility here and your instance your light sale instance can talk to another aws services as well provided you allow that right and it is a very simple uh, uh, method in which you can go ahead and uh, set up your light sale instance and then connect to it and deploy whatever you want all right so what i'm going to do now is i'll go ahead and show you the same with the demo uh, but before we go there i want to just explain you a few quick things here and this is quite easy to understand the memory ram etc which you get along with the instance right uh, you get 20 gb hard disk here and then 30 40 all of these are solid state disk so it is going to perform well general purpose ssd the data transfer is something important to understand now i'm uh, i hope uh, you have some idea that data in to the cloud is free so any data which is going data transfer which is going uh, in to the, your instance is going to be free any data out from your instance to the internet is going to cost you and this one tb is the free limit which you get within this amount right for example you get in five dollar per month you get one tb data out meaning from your instance going out to the internet in case two of your instances two of your light sale instances need to talk to each other they can talk on the private ip address and that will be totally free okay so such things in case you have something in S3 and you need to bring from S3 to your uh, light sale instance, if both are there in the same region, that also will be free. Remember, uh, light sale currently is available only in North Virginia region. Uh, so if you want to try your hands, you need to do it there. Okay, so let us go ahead and create and understand this thing. So I don't have any resources as of now. First thing I'll do is I'll create an instance. Now there are some uh, applications available built in within the os you can go ahead and choose things so that you don't have to install or you can go ahead and just choose plain operating system uh, for simplicity i'm going to choose plain operating system if you are interested you can go ahead and do these things as well no extra charge because these are all free so i'll go ahead and choose amazon linux go down i'll go to do the five dollar per month plan and we need to name it something you can name whatever you want right so we will just call it demo and i want to create one instance that's it so create and 
that instance gets created. So the instance which is getting created, this as you can see, it has got a public IP address. It has a private IP address as well. Once we once it is available, we'll be able to see that. Now this uh, this particular uh, instance, uh, this uh, this IP address which you see currently, this is the public IP and it is not the static or elastic IP, right? So if uh, if we want a uh, static IP so that it does not change in case I stop this instance also. We can go ahead and do that. Let us go ahead and create a static IP address. If I want with the creation itself, I can attach it to the instance. So it is showing up, I'm saying, okay, attach. We can just give it some name, what with whatever we wanna recognize and we can say create. All right, so uh, this thing is created. We'll go back here, you can see that uh, you have a static IP address created and that IP address is applied here, right? Let us go and click here and see this in detail. You have your uh, instance running. You can stop it, you can reboot it. You know that if you reboot the public IP normally just remains same. If you stop, then public IP changes, right? But now we have added static IP, so no problem at all. Now uh, you can go ahead and uh, connect to it just using the browser itself right. so I will go ahead and click here and it will go it will just connect in a while you can go ahead and look at the metrics CPU utilization etc and some time the data will start coming here look at the networking part firewall what ports are open so port 80 is open good if we if it apply a website it would be accessible Okay, your snapshot. So if you want to take any snapshot at any point in time, you can go ahead and take that as well. Uh, this would be really helpful in case you want to change your instance type. So currently, it is the first one, the $5 type. In case you change from $5 to $10, you can take snapshot of your instance and launch the next one. History of all your events will be maintained here. In case you want to delete, you need to go here. Okay, so you can see from the browser itself, I am connected to this instance and i can go ahead and run whatever i want here registered so that all the packages get updated here okay so so easy it is to from anywhere you can just go ahead and connect by the time it is running let me tell you something more the pricing of light sale is prorated that means though it says five dollar per hour or five dollar per month um i want to show you something so if you do this five dollar per month you go ahead and calculate it divided by 30 days and 24 hours it comes roughly around 0 0.0067 dollars uh, per hour right so in case you run this particular instance for let's say uh, 100 hours in a month you will be charged only for those 100 hours but remember in this case when we say that you are using for 100 hours that means your instance is either in the running or in the stopped state you will not be charged only if you delete the instance even when your instance is there in the stopped state it, you are being charged for it remember that because you know your data is available there all right so this was an important piece of information i wanted to give you let us go and see if everything is done great so i will go ahead and Just set up HTTPD server and then we can go ahead and start it. Great. So let us go ahead and access this website. Right. So I'll just go to this and the website is accessible. Great. So in a few minutes, we just created an instance we had the public ip and now we have deployed things as well so you can go ahead and of course put your custom website last piece of information here uh, the ec2 hyphen user is being shown here you don't need to keep the key also and just go ahead and connect from here in case uh, you want a custom key while launching the instance there is an option with which you can go ahead and do that let me show you that when you do create instance you have this option 
of uh, you, uh, you know user data as well in case remember in the ec2 as you have user data any script you can write here uh, for example setting up or doing the update or setting up any any package you can write that and it will get executed at the time of the launch of the instance and if you want to attach or create any you know additional key you can go ahead and do that as well it will get downloaded and you can use that key in order to connect from putty or anywhere okay um right and one last piece of information is dns zone now if you have procured any domain let's say example.com put it here and go ahead and create a dns zone Okay, all right, what is the issue? Okay, so you can go ahead and just create an A record. Say, how do you want to access this? For example, www.epc.com should go to this particular static IP. So I chose the instance, came, go ahead and just save this right and uh, now i don't own this particular abc.com but in case i own it i will have to just go ahead and update these name server details into with my registrar wherever i have registered abc.com that's it and your website will be up and running one uh, important thing with this with the pricing of this uh, light sale and why is it good to run your website if you go ahead and compare the data out charges from an ec2 or cloud front or for that matter um, from an s3 one tp costs you around uh, 80 to 90 dollars for a month one tp data out costs you 80 to 90 dollars per month see here so i've done this i've taken ec2 and i'm doing data out of with two one tp and in your cloud front also we'll do one tp so you can see Sorry. Okay, so there was a small glitch. I had few values at S3 that was showing up additional. Now, uh, if you see in EC2, I have done one TP per month data out, and for CloudFront also, I have chosen one TP per month data out. These are the costs for CloudFront. It cost me eighty-seven dollar. For EC2, it cost me ninety-two dollars, and you get one TP data out totally free here. With just five dollar per month so it is really great to host your websites or in case you want to have just an instance running all the time you can go ahead and have the first one you can use it to run any small database or to you know to run any uh, simple websites and as you progress you can go ahead and choose a plan which serves you better so that's it i hope you understand how to create a light cell instance and host your website this is really new and very exciting so if you like this, please go ahead and share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel. Bye-bye.